Section 4.8 Newton's method. We call the root or zero or x intercept of a function are the values of x that satisfy the equation f of x equals zero. This section, we are going to use the Newton's method, which is one of the most effective numerical methods for approximating the roots of function. Why approximate? Because some functions, such as the f of x equals e to the negative x minus x, cannot be found using analytic methods. Deriving Newton's method. Our aim is to start with an initial guess x0 and get closer to the point where the graph crosses the x-axis, which are called the x-intercept or the root, which is the goal. In the graph, you can see the x0 is the initial point. Use the order pair x0, f x0 and the slope of the curve as m equals f prime at x0 form the tangent line. This tangent line crossing the x-axis at x1. So x1 is the x-intercept. Next, use the order pair x1, fx1, and the slope at the point x1 from the tangent line. The next tangent line has an x-intercept at x2. Repeating the same process, use the order pair x2, fx2, and the slope at x2 from the tangent line. The next tangent line crosses the x-axis at the x-intercept x3 and keep going until we get closer and closer to the goal, which is the x-intercept r. With this concept, if we start with the x0, which is the initial point, the function value at x0 to form the order pair and the slope on the curve, which is the f prime at x0, the tangent line will be found by using the point slope form, like y minus the function value at x0 equals the slope at x0 multiplied by x minus x0. Or the equation is in the form of the f x0 plus the f prime at x0 multiplied by x minus x0. And this equation of the line is a tangent line, has the x-intercept at x1, 0. That means this order pair x1, 0 will satisfy this equation of the line. So replace the y with the 0, x with the x1, And since we are looking for the x-intercept, so we are going to solve for x1. Subtract f at x0, both sides, and divided by f prime at x0. We get x1 minus x0. Therefore, the Equation for the x1 will be in the form of x0 minus f at x0 divided by f prime at x0. And we repeat the same technique. That means the next x-intercept x2 can be found by using the order pair x1, fx1, and the slope at x1 as the form of x2 equals x1 minus the function value at x1 divided by the derivative at x1. And keep going with the same manner. From this formula, it's called the successive formula that used the x1 to find x2, use x2 to find x3, and so forth, or use xn to find xn plus 1, or the next x-intercept. The formula has a quotient as the denominator f prime at the xn. The f prime cannot be 0, otherwise Newton's method cannot be used. Newton's method to approximate the root of the function f of x equals 0. First, choose an initial approximation x0 as close to the root as possible. Next, use the formula xn plus 1 equals xn minus the function at xn divided by f prime at xn. 
make sure that f prime at xn not equal to zero. And number three, and the calculations when at termination condition is met. When do we stop? The error in xn as an approximation to the root r is the absolute value of the difference of xn and r. In general, we do not know the root r. If you want p digits of accuracy in your approximation, you should compute until either two successive approximations agree to p digits or until some maximum number of iterations is exceeded. In summary, Newton's method is used to approximate the zero of the function in the case that there are more than one egg intercept or more than one root of that function. The initial guess will provide us the closer egg intercept using this method. For example, the graph of y equals 2x squared minus x minus 2, there are two egg intercepts, as one is the negative value and the other one is positive value. If we choose the x0 equals 1.7 as an initial point, it will provide us the closer x intercept, which is 1.28 using the Newton's method. If we choose the value that is closer, but on the left side, it will do the same way by leading to the approximation of the egg intercept that's closer to that number. Another egg intercept as the negative number, if we choose the initial point as negative 1.3, using the Newton's method, we will obtain the closer egg intercept to that number, which is negative 0 0.78.